Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is the Apostle uh, Fabian on Periscope. And uh, I would like to invite uh, my friends on Facebook and my subscribers on YouTube to download this Periscope and uh, uh, follow me on Periscope and because I want to I want you to continue to be a part of this 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 move of God and the moves that God is doing uh, in these uh, last days as you know it's coming up to the end of the year and that is when I begin my first of the year uh, 21 uh, day fast to to prepare uh, for the year and uh, to seek God for a word. And, and when I tell you God has given me a word, God has actually, God has given me two words uh, to piggyback the last word. You know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that God never gives a second word if you don't obey the first one. He never gives a second word if you don't obey the first one. And uh, so God gave me a first word last year. Um, and uh, I believe that I completed that word because he gave me uh, two words uh, uh, this year for the upcoming year. And for my Facebook family and my Facebook friends, my YouTube uh, family, my YouTube friends, my Twitter family, my Twitter friends. I just want you to know, uh, Facebook, that you have been such a blessing to me, a, 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 an encouragement uh, from all of the, the likes and the comments uh, that you make on uh, the posts that I make. Uh, I know sometimes uh, the, the apostle can go on a tangent uh, concerning certain things, but I just want to say that I thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Um, and I will really uh, be looking forward uh, for your support uh, in this upcoming year. Um, uh, the apostle has a lot on his plate this year. God has given me a lot to eat, uh, a lot to do. And uh, I see I have one, um, uh, one uh, visitor. Uh, just send me a heart uh, and let me know uh, that, you're, that you're here, you're, you're with me, uh, and it's blessing uh, your spirit. I had a verse of scripture uh, that the spirit of God um, gave to me uh, this morning. And I want to talk about passing the baton, passing uh, the baton. Uh, one of the problems that I see in a lot of churches is a lack of passing the baton uh, to the next generation. Uh, it's important to understand that, um, you know, in every generation, God has uh, leaders uh, that he has ordained, that he has set forth to uh, to take his people or to take a truth or to take uh, a word uh, 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 to uh, uh, the nations of the world or uh, throughout the body of Christ. But the problem that I've seen, because we are in this earthly body, the problem that I've seen in, 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 in certain segments of the church is that, you know, the, the old God, they hold on to the mantle. You, you almost have to pull the mantle out of their hands from the tomb, uh, from the casket, praise God. And that's not a good thing because it leads to church splits uh, and it leads to uh, uh, just ugliness among God's people and the vision usually die or become stagnated. Um, I, I'm, I'm literally reminded of a of a ministry uh, that literally plays the tapes of the old leader. They, they, the church come together and they play his tapes that he used, that he preached 25 and 30 years ago. Uh, and that's not God. It, it really is not God. It's a form of religion and tradition uh, that have kept the people of God in bondage. So I want to say, and I want to encourage, um, pass the baton, pa pass the baton to uh, the next generation. Uh, because the younger generation, they, they, they are stronger, older, mature, uh, wise men. Uh, you've preached 30 and 40 years. Um, and, you know, it, 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 it's time to just pass the baton. Uh, some people say that I will, you know, I, I was studying behind some leaders out of Portland, Oregon, and it blessed my spirit. I was, it was many, many years ago. And uh, it was when I was in the back, uh, the, uh, the back of the desert in my preparation time. 
And I was studying behind this group of leaders uh, uh, out of the Midwest, uh, not the Midwest, I'm sorry, the Northwestern states. And I saw where uh, there was a group of men that got together, they built a Bible college uh, and the, the, the senior pastor, he was getting up in age like 65, 66. And he had started that ministry from the ground. He birthed it with these men and God was doing a mag God had done a magnificent work with them. And I was I, and I studied behind them. They're, they're one of the group of leaders that I studied behind concerning leadership. Um, and if you're familiar with uh, Frank DiMazio, Kevin Connor, Ken Malman, Dick Iverson, David Blumgren, and all those guys, um, uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet uh, Bill Hammond, he came out of that school, out of that group of leaders of uh, 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 the present truth uh, doctrine and the present truth ministry. And one of the things that I appreciated about it is that when Dick Iverson got in, I think it was maybe like 67, 68, because I was in prison, I was one of their subscribers, and they sent me... Uh, uh, a um, uh, what what I want to call it. They sent me uh, some information uh, to see if I wanted to be a part of the passing of the baton. And 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 when I looked at the baton and I read about it and I saw it, and it was just blessed my spirit. Why? Because Dick Iverson was getting up in age, and Frank DiMazio was the young wise pastor, young wise leader that the hand of God and all of the other elders, they saw that the hand of God was on Frank DiMazio as a great teacher, a mighty teacher in the word of God, a mighty um, a mighty man in word and in deed, and God had blessed him. And Dick Iverson, them, they passed the baton to Frank DiMazio. What do you mean? Well, Frank DiMazio was becoming the senior pastor. Yeah, Frank DiMazio was coming the senior pastor to listen, to lead another generation into the ways and into the things of God. Why? Because I believe that that is the order of God. And as I've observed that ministry and continue to follow that follow that ministry uh, for years on end, the ministry has took off and then become global. Uh, they are, you know, they're touching nations of the world. They, you know, they're, they're planting churches all throughout the country. Why? Because the glory of young men is their strength and the beauty of old men is the gray head. Older leader, you now should come and be the voice of wisdom to the young man. King Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 29, the glory of young men is their strength. Did you see that? The glory of young men is their strength. Young men have strength to carry the vision. Young men, as you was young one time and you was able to carry the vision, you was able to carry the work, you was able to lead your generation, your group of people, into the things of God. The young men have the strength to do it. God gives them a strength. You, you, you have a strength also, uh, 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 elderly, but your strength is in your wisdom. You, did you catch that? Your strength is in your wisdom because it says, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. Let me give you a Bible case in point. Moses, Moses, yes, Moses was ready to go on from labor to reward. And Moses prayed. Moses prayed, and I got something else to go with this, that I think something that is plaguing uh, a certain segment of the church uh, that I don't think is, I don't think it's right towards the people of God. And I don't really think it is the mindset of God, uh, but I will touch on it uh, uh, shortly. But anyway, Moses, listen, people of God, Moses knew that the people needed the, the needed to have a young leader even though Joshua uh, was a warrior Joshua had been with him coming out of Egypt Joshua had Joshua had been there for him uh, Joshua was a mighty warrior but Moses still prayed and said Lord listen at his prayer he said Lord choose you a man out of the congregation who shall lead them who shall go before them who who that the people don't be like a sheep Without a shepherd. Moses prayed. And he said. He called and he said. The God of all spirits. Choose you a man. Or whom have you chosen? And God spoke. And he said. I've chosen Joshua. The son of Nun. You see it? I've chosen Joshua. The son of Nun. Uh, to lead my people. And to take them. Uh, into the land. Whereby I have promised them. This is what I saw happen. Uh, 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 in Portland, Oregon. With Dick Iverson and Frank DiMazio. And this is the thing that I that when I when I got out of prison and I began to visit churches and I began to see and go to churches, I saw that there was a lack. I, I, I'm gonna call them Mike Hogs. They, they, they're old, they, 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 you know, 
almost 70, 80 years old, and you wonder why you can't get the young people. And you're saying, where's the young people? Where's the young people? The young people come into the church and the young people leave the church. Well, the reason why is because you, 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 the, the young people have strength to do battle. You just are you not you're not you're not strong and you don't have the youth you don't have that no more to 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 go and to get the people of God and to get them and to bring them into the ways of God I mean you don't have that strength no more to fight these uh, uh, fight the devil and to fight the enemy you don't have that you have to give it to the young man you it's a must that you pray and ask God who is the young leader that he has chosen to take his people into the next dimension. And it says, God says, Cho, bring Joshua, bring him before the priest, bring him before the elders, place your hand upon him, begin to put some of your authority on him in the midst, listen, of the congregation, that they will know, that they will know that this is the next leader. And, 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 and it doesn't mean a, a, a man of God, mature, wise man of God. Listen, your beauty will be in your wisdom, listen, to help the young preacher be able to take the, take the congregation to the next level. Yeah, yes, yes, your wisdom, and, and, and you know you'll be a voice of wisdom to him to be able to lead him and to gather. That's what Moses is. This is what Dick Iverson and Kevin Connor and all these men became to Frank Damasio. Uh, uh, David Blumgren and all of them, they became a voice of wisdom to him to lead the congregation. And this is a shame among certain segments of the church. I'm not going to say which segment, but if you put two and two together, you see it. They preach, oh, I heard one preacher, he was home, he was, he was hooping. Oh, I'm going to preach till I die. I guess so. I, I guess so. And the church is going to die too. And that's not the will of God. In my theology, that's not the will of God. Pray. And ask God, who is the individual that to go to the next level? God bless you. And I thank you. This was a test run on Periscope. Um, give me your comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, join me, Facebook. Join me, YouTube, on this journey on Periscope. God bless you. Amen.